there is no one way to grieve. Um, each individual um, will grieve differently. Um, now there are some common factors within that and um, what families would say to us would be that um, sometimes they feel as if um, everything uh, that they knew and everything that was familiar to them um, suddenly becomes quite surreal and becomes really um, alien to them after their child has died because they feel so intensely the loss of their child and the pain of that loss. And that can be a very difficult world to navigate um, on your own. What we would do then would be to provide uh, um, uh, someone to talk to um, and to listen to what it is that their experience is. There are some things that are quite common um, in terms of families just feeling completely exhausted. Um, that um, they feel that they sometimes um, they, they don't feel that they can eat. There are changes in their eating patterns, changing in their sleeping patterns. Um, sometimes you know they're awake most of the night and but quite exhausted then during the day as well. So they feel that um, as if their world has been just completely turned upside down on them. Um, for some of our um, families, what they would say to us is that they struggle to um, just know where it is that they fit um, into the world. Um, it's like navigating a different world um, that they have. They're trying to keep busy, they're trying to do things, they're trying to meet the needs of their other children to balance out what that is for them, to make what seemingly um, they feel are really quite everyday decisions become really quite momentous for them. For some of our dads, what they would say is that everybody asks me about how my wife is, um, but they feel so embarrassed and they don't ask me how I am. Some dads will feel that they need to keep busy and they need to return to work and they need to be able to start to provide for their family. Um, mums might feel that they want to talk a lot, um, and for some dads they don't actually want to do that and they feel that they've reassured and that they've done the listening and that they um, are doing well and being able to do that um, but sometimes for mums that's not what they want they want to continue to talk about their child they want to continue to hear their child's name mentioned um, and um, at times feel sometimes that that can be difficult for them. Um, and what, what I would encourage would be that families would learn um, to continue to communicate in that, to acknowledge that they will do this differently, but learn ways of being able to continue to communicate with each other. Some families will choose to come into children's hospice for their child to die here. Um, and certainly if they want support in that, then we would provide that. Um, in the past, what we have as well is um, where a family might choose that their child would stay here after their child has died and to have their funeral from here as well. Um, and we can certainly provide any support that the family need at that point in time. Um, sometimes families will have arrangements already made and they'll have thought through that and they'll have known what it is that they want. Um, other families, they don't want to have done that yet. Um, and they may need help in choosing what it is that they feel that they want to do at that point in time. And we certainly can help with that.